Elbow bumping his people there and about to make his victory. Good victories. evening, uh, everyone. I want to acknowledge that I'm on the unceded traditional territory of the Squamish, Musqueam, and Tsleil-Waututh First Nations. BC has voted, and a majority has been called, but there are many, many hundreds of thousands of votes yet to be counted. And while we wait for that final count to happen, I want to assure people that I'm going to keep the focus right where it belongs on helping people get through this pandemic, making sure that they have the services that they need, and all British Columbians can sleep safely, knowing that we're going to do everything we can to keep them safe, healthy, and secure. One thing we know for certain is that on Monday, I'll be going back to work, and we're going to be putting people, businesses, and others who are focused on getting through the pandemic at the front of everything that we do. That has been our commitment and will continue to be our commitment now and going forward for the next four years. To the incredible volunteers that are here tonight and have worked so tirelessly to help us connect with British Columbians, I want to thank you very, very much. To the amazing team of BC NDP candidates in every corner of BC, and to all those people who put their names forward to offer to serve in their communities, I offer you my sincere gratitude and thanks for stepping up to help your neighbours get their lives better and make sure that everyone can benefit from the bounty of British Columbia. This has been an extraordinarily difficult election for many, many reasons, but it's one that I believe had to happen. And I think I'm grateful for all British Columbians that we have put the election behind us and we can get back to focusing on the things that matter most to you. We found new ways to connect with each other. We found new ways to engage and talk about ideas. I want to thank Dr. Henry and Elections BC for doing such an extraordinary job to make sure that all of us could vote safely. To Andrew Wilkinson and Sonia Firstino, I want to thank you for a spirited campaign where you put forward ideas and allowed British Columbians to make clear choices. To the great people of Lankford, Juan de Fuca, to my family and my friends for always having my back, thank you, thank you, thank you. Particularly to Ellie, to Nate and Evan, I know you didn't ask for any of this, and all I want to say is thank you so much for enduring my excesses and my passion and desire to be out around people making sure that British Columbia can be as good as it possibly can be. It has been an honour and a privilege for the past three and a half years to serve British Columbians to make sure we can make life better for everyone. I want to make sure that government works for you each and every day. That is my passion, that is my calling, that's why I get up every morning and I'm grateful for the returns of ballots tonight and the final count that's yet to come to give the opportunity to me and my colleagues to continue that work on your behalf. COVID-19 has turned our lives upside down. None of us expected to be here. None of us expected that we would have to endure the challenges we've had over the past number of months. But we are far from out of the woods. COVID-19 will be with us for the foreseeable future, and we need to focus on making sure that we're keeping ourselves safe, our families safe, and our communities safe. The challenges ahead are daunting, but I believe that if we focus on the things that matter to British Columbians, the things that matter to people, we'll get through this. Focusing on building back our education system by investing in schools and the people that work in them, by making sure our seniors' care facilities have the staff that they need so that our seniors can be cared for in their latter years, that we're building childcare all across British Columbia so that families can fully participate in the economy to make their lives stronger and to make their community stronger as well. For me, this comes down to a few simple things. I was raised by a single mom who told me to do my best every day, my level best. I say that a lot. She said it a lot to me. All you have to do, John, is your level best. I commit to all British Columbians that for the next four years, I will do my level best to make sure your lives are better, more affordable, and the challenges that you face can be overcome if we do it together. Thank you so very, very much to the many, many people who voted for NDP candidates this evening. And as I said, to all of those who participated, a debt of gratitude from all of us for stepping up in this extraordinary time. Thanks so much. Let's get back to work.